Hi guys, welcome to another Vlogmas video. Today's video is going to be what do I actually do for my other job? Um, I'm gonna keep it kind of like general, um, but I'll show you guys some examples, like fake examples of like what I do. Stuff I can't show you, then I'll just like tell you and explain. I work at home. I've been working at home since March just because of like COVID and stuff. But the first thing I do, most of my job consists of like social media and everything. So I'll show you this really cool website I use to um, like schedule posts and that's what I do most of my three days I schedule posts throughout the week I share things um, on the days I work just various posts yeah I guess without further ado let's just get on to what I do also I'm sorry if this video is kind of like boring I don't know I'm just showing you guys what you want to see I've gotten multiple requests to kind of share my day with you all so I just wanted to put that little disclaimer in here Okay, so this is the program I use for pretty much everything. Obviously, there's no account selected, but I just use it for social media to schedule things. It's really handy. You could schedule tweets, Facebook posts, Instagram. I normally just do a Facebook and Twitter. I'm gonna actually pretend to share something. I'm not actually gonna share it, but I'm gonna pretend to share something like, I don't know, let's just do this video. I'm gonna pretend to share this so I get the link, and then I just like copy the link. Go back to here and then paste the link in this um, box and then click attach and then I'm just gonna like say hi yeah <laughs> and then pretend that's like a post and then I'm gonna come down to this little clock thing and then we're gonna like schedule it for like uh, that day and then at like 9 07 and then we're gonna do like AM and then you say schedule post, but because there's no account selected here, it's not gonna schedule anything, but that's pretty much what I do like an ongoing basis. So yeah, that's a really good example. If you didn't have a link, you can always like schedule your own video or photo here. It's really convenient actually. So I'm just gonna get started on scheduling posts. Okay, so I got a lot of posts scheduled for today. Now I'm going to just make posts on Instagram so you guys all know what that looks like. Okay, so I just got done up posting on Instagram and now I am going to deliver a file. Um, we use something called a WeTransfer. I'm not gonna show you guys because it has like a logo and stuff, but um, yeah, like you can get a personal account or whatever, but I'm just transferring some screenshots I took. We have to do this like every month just for like a meeting and stuff. So I am transferring some photos, it'll take a minute. That is what I'm doing now. Um, just so you guys know, I also do a lot of other stuff, so I might help filming an event or setting up a tent somewhere, um, but right now, like, most of my work is done at home. Okay, so I also do this thing called the community calendar where we put, like, events and stuff, so this is, like, a fake one. We do, like, this weekend, so this weekend is, like, the 12th and then 13th, and then upcoming is gonna be, like, next week, so this is, like, fake mock-up version, but, like, where is it? It's at Whoville. What is it? It's the Grinchmas meetup. Where is it? It's at the town hall and like the time. So I put like two to three events for like each of them. And I normally do this on Tuesdays. Like I get it to the people that it needs to get to, but this is called the community calendar. Okay, so I just got done with lunch, but something I would also do on a day like today would be have like a call with my manager and um, she would have like a spot for me to do. So uh, like a promo or like a commercial essentially. And I would be editing that and I use Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects for that. Those are the two like softwares that I normally use. So I would get the VO like through email and then I would get all of the assets like the photos and the video and the graphics and then I'll be working on that but I don't have one this week so I'm just doing social right now okay so I just got off the phone with my manager we kind of had like a little meeting not necessarily meeting but it was like she just caught me up on stuff like during the week so I will have a promo to produce probably a little bit later on in the week and then I will have to go out and shoot things or film, whatever term you like to use. In this industry, we always say shoot, but it sounds like kind of 
weird to say. So film is a, like a good alternative way to say that. So I will be going to different locations probably on Friday. I normally don't work on Fridays. Um, tomorrow I normally write a little script for a like one minute little video that we produce and show to viewers and stuff. But my boss is actually going to write it because this week we have a little bit, I don't know, she just there's a lot of stuff going on and um, it's not like a traditional video that we produce. So she's just going to write it and then I produce it. So she'll probably like get that out tomorrow or today sometime. Okay, so it is the next day and I'm exactly where I left off. Um, but this morning I just did some social media planning and stuff for today. And then my manager wrote the little script for a video. I normally do that sometimes and then sometimes she does it. So she did it this morning and everything and then ran it by me. And now I'm just waiting for her approval to send it to someone to do like a voiceover to put it over this video. So this is basically the timeline. It kind of just looks like this. Nothing too crazy. This is what I use. I use Adobe Premiere Pro and this is what it looks like. I have highly recommend you organize your stuff like this. So I have like all my assets, B-roll, like that's the footage and stuff. Lower thirds, cause we have to like always customize that. And it's just easier to have like these folders. This stands for sequence. The sequence is the timeline thing. Um, and then the voiceover. So basically all of this, the assets are like the transitions and the like full screen graphics and stuff. So that is basically how I organize like all of my footage when it comes to works stuff. When it comes to YouTube stuff, I don't use Premiere Pro. I use Final Cut because Final Cut is just so easy to use and everything. And I actually don't organize any of my footage. I just put it in the order that I filmed it in. So it's a lot less like, I guess, tedious as one would say when it comes to YouTube. But when it comes to work, there's like a lot of like different little elements. And when it's organized, it just makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that I like, I basically organized all the footage and everything. I'm probably gonna work on the lower thirds now, which I use Adobe After Effects. And basically I just customize it. Like I just changed the text, nothing too exciting about that. but that's probably what I'm gonna work on now. I just want to show you guys that I like got it all ready so when we get the VO I just like literally match everything and just do like the final touches when it comes to that. So um I hope that kind of like gives you an idea of this thing that I do and I think I already said this but I think I have a promo slash like commercial thing I'll need to do but we're just like waiting for the assets and stuff. A lot of my job too is like dependent on other people which is kind of it makes it sound weird but like if someone, if I don't get the VO for something, clearly you can't finish the project, you know? Sometimes it comes really fast. Sometimes you have to wait a little bit. So it just all really depends. Well, are you say hi. Hello. Just got done doing this like end of the year review goal thing. Um, I normally don't have to do that during a work week, but I thought I would include it just because I do, I don't know, a lot of different things during the week and stuff. Tomorrow, I don't have to go out and film anything, which is gonna be good. I just have Friday and Saturday that I'm gonna be on uh, shoots filming things, which is gonna be hopefully not too cold. That's something that I have to do. I think I've already said that, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna finish up a little early today and I'm gonna work out, but I'm not gonna film the workout because I haven't filmed this week's workouts because I'm doing exactly what I did last week, which I'm gonna actually go over in my workout um, update video, which is already posted, I believe. So you can go watch it. Okay. So another thing I do for my job is get things on the website. And what we use is this thing called arc publishing. And it's like the back end of a website. It's kind of like Squarespace, WordPress. It's kind of like that, but like on a bigger scale. So I just got this screenshot from Google images. Um, and this is like a thing it looks just like this. Obviously, this is not, this is just an example, um, but this is what it looks like on the back end. And it's like when you clip things or like take things out of um, like a news story or something and then you publish it. And then I think, let me try to get to like a story. So this is like what the composer looks like. I don't know if I'm doing a good job like explaining this, but anyway, you have the planning, the um, composer, the metadata, like all of that stuff and then you have the featured media here 
So this is obviously the compose section where you like write the story and everything. I don't write like too much for the website. I just like get stuff on. This is an example of like what the stories look like and everything and planning like which stories go on top and everything. Um, yeah, but basically that's what it looks like. It's called ARC Publishing. So if you are like curious what I, what the website stuff looks like that I do. So this is like the composer thing picture that I just showed. I don't really work in that. The photo center, that's where like people upload photos for like thumbnails and stuff, which is interesting. Video center, that's kind of what I just showed you as well. And yeah, so I just, I get a story up on our website like almost every week, pretty much every week. Um, on a website and this is what we use. So that's probably what I'm gonna do um, around four o'clock. Again, I haven't really like shown a lot just for like privacy and like keeping things separate, but um, I haven't gotten the voiceover yet for either of the videos that I'm producing this week, but just pretend like I did. Let's pretend that I did and let's pretend that I got both of those things done. That's definitely a big part of my job is producing spots for TV and everything. So yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna finish up the video here just because that's basically what I do um, and also pretend that I went out to film something because that's also what I do. It's just I wouldn't actually film that and put it on YouTube so that's what I'm just telling you. So yeah, um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below telling me what you do if you have a job. If you don't have a job, what do you want to do when you're older? Have a job, career, whatever. I definitely love what I do. It's amazing and right now in my life it's perfect um, and it allows me to do this so I really like what I do. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!